important, right? <laughs> Are you kidding me? I mean, the word location itself is indeed very much part of the business. I mean, who doesn't want a good location, right? A place like constantly uh, jam, and then a place of uh, there's no parking space. You don't want to choose a shady back early business location, right? <laughs> Mature neighborhood, or at least a developing one, some place with good accessibility. You know, uh, you know, good traffic flow. I mean, you don't get stuck in traffic jams coming to the location. For example, I can pick a location is noticeable from the highway or the main road and it can attract hungry crowds provided they like my coffee and foods lah. Huh? Definitely I would choose around a housing or residential area. I would say freehold commercial areas. Yeah, I mean a location that has a matured neighbourhood. I would choose somewhere where it's the Location is nearby the residential and the working crowds, so I can sample all the customer, right? Easy access, uh, such as like leaf elevators and plenty of parking space. Mate, I love newly developed areas. You know why? Because developers will ensure the success of these new areas and they'll give good offers for the shop owners. And by owning it firsthand, it will increase its value as first mover advantage. Yeah. Provided it's from a developer I trust. I think it depends like how isolated the place is, you know. Have, have you seen like there's so many retail shops like with the, those uh, rental stickers like everywhere and still the lot are empty? It really depends on the developer portfolio and history. I will look at uh, their master plan, whether they have a good concept for us to operate the restaurant and cafe. Parking space. Parking space, parking space, parking space. I mean, you've got to choose a location that provides good parking. Otherwise, I mean, you know, even if you are like the best food, you know, the, the restaurant that provides the best food in the whole of Klang Valley. If people come to your location and see double park cars, you know, cramped location spaces, not enough parking, you think what they'll do? They'll just go to the nearest shopping centre and makan there lah. And habis lah, your business, rugi. I mean, you're also one of them, right? <laughs> yeah, so parking space, really important. Oh, Tropicana, that's the developer, right? Uh, it's somewhere around, it's surrounding the Shah Alam, uh, USJ and Subang Height, right? Direct link connecting Fedra Highway and Tropicana Metro Park. Ample covered car park base. Ah, you got me in ample car park base. High visibility from main road and urban park. Open air outdoor alfresco design retail shop. Are you design it for me? Huh? <laughs> 88 acre freehold township consists of residential, education, and greenery. Having an international school and park really do help in terms of residential growth. For my nature of my business, I think uh, this is very wow. Almost perfect. <laughs> Only lifestyle park front retail concept in Subang Jaya and Shalam with direct connection to urban park. Oh, this is really nice. With the main highways and a mature neighborhood nearby, it clearly gives a vibe that there's a lot of people with a high spending power around. Okay, so I guess the concept is similar to Tropicana Avenue, right? With high rental yields of like 4 to 5.5%. If you're not a business owner, this simply means you can even earn by renting shop lots, just like me. It's good that you have actually various uh, unit sizes, especially the smaller ones, you know, small entry costs. And I can see that finally, you have an area that will cater to a big population coming in with you know, unique retail store designs, you know, lifestyle environments. Are you guys still selling this? Eh, 
I want to buy lah. Okay what? I'm so excited what, 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 what the place can do for me. Wow, good job man. Good job. You know what? I'll take a few units. <laughs>